Alright guys, welcome back to another Man 13 video. As you can tell from my voice, I still am a bit under the weather, so I would appreciate those of you who don't normally taking a moment to hit the like button, because obviously I'm willing to push through this cold to bring you what I feel is the best sim football content on YouTube. Secondly, I ask that you subscribe to my channel if you don't currently. As always, I welcome your criticisms to the video in the comments section, and while I play this at speed, I'll ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is ShutdownSafety. Now, this video is predicated by a discussion I had in the Operation Sports Forums, where I'm extremely active last week, where I said a lot of times in Madden, I feel like zone blocking is employed because there's always one or two linemen that don't seem to understand where they need to go and kind of run around aimlessly. So it gives me that zone blocking look. In this example, there is true zone blocking in Madden, which I'm very glad to bring you. This is a beautifully executed play. We're going to take a look here at the center, number 54, and number 64 to start things. And I want you to notice that there's a little bit of a delay here with number 54, while he attempts to kind of locate who he needs to block in his zone. And then once that happens, there's a great double team animation here between number 54 and number 64. Now we all know that a big part of zone blocking is double team blocking a defensive lineman and then having someone released to go block at the second level. And over here we get a, a slight exaggeration of that. But number 78 and number 77 kind of zone block, number 97, and then clearly... 78 breaks off to go block second level. Now, he's a little slow to catch Cavell Connor, my linebacker in the background, and he ends up turning around to block Jarrell Worthy, but that's not the point. The point is the game showed a propensity to have that second level block occur, and that's what's important. Other thing I want to talk about here is number 71 comes over, does a very nice side interaction block with my defensive end. Very good animation to see, but I do want to go and focus on here what happens with the wide receiver in this case being played as a tight end and you can see here the tight end goes out attempts to block my linebacker and my linebacker is Danell Ellerby he kind of fails that and seamlessly goes to a second level block and gets my safety on the other side of this you can see here very good block executed by number 86 forces my cornerback out of the play but I want to talk about this tackle animation as well because obviously with all this great blocking there was a very good run lane set up and you can see number 22 comes out plenty of open field but he's met by my linebacker that was very agile to get around that block and you can see a great animation here remove the box for you as Ellerby swings around and then this to me is just pure you know what we can see out of the infinity engine you can see pure physics kind of take place as Ellerby's momentum kind of swings him around the running back, stands the running back up, and then pulls him backwards into the ground to complete the tackle. So beautiful execution again out of this game, and it's really bad to see this. Because when you see what the game is capable of, you then also know what the game continually does. So if the game was willing to execute more frequently in this manner, I think there'd be a lot less complaint videos made by me. Run this at full speed from the halfback's perspective. I will be back in the week with more videos. Hopefully my throat will feel a little better. I appreciate you guys taking time to check this one out.